Hello everybody, it is TJ here with TJ's Diamond Paintings and today I'm going to be posting another Timu haul. So for this haul I have a total of seven canvases um, and my family every Christmas Thanksgiving time we always just do one combined holiday we call Thanksmas and we always do a $50 white elephant. So for my present I'm going to get a nice little like storage bag um, that was cow print along with some diamond painting. So here I'm going to be reviewing some of the diamond paintings I purchased for that white elephant exchange. Um, and to be honest, I'll probably snag a couple of them for myself <laughs> because I just think they're so cute. So go ahead and stay tuned and let's get started. So starting off, um, I'm just going to go ahead and say that all of these canvases have these little standard toolkits that have a green bow, a pink pen, and a little piece of wax. Some of them have little multi-places for the pen and then others have like um, little baggies. But other than that, they're all pretty standard across all of them. So here is our first canvas. Now it is a 30 by 30 with 21 different colors. And it's this beautiful image of daisies. Um, so this goes with kind of like my little stained glass theme. Um, and like I've said before, with these little 30 by 30s, you can't always promise that the stained glass appearance is going to come out. Uh, this one actually looks pretty good though. Um, if I want to, I might take a darker blue and kind of outline all of these lines first to make sure they come through. Um, or I'll just follow the instructions. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> this one, um, I think it does look really good for its size. Um, obviously it's not gonna come out amazing because it's only a 30 by 30, but I do think it's gonna turn out pretty good. Here is the thumbnail for this one. Um, overall, I do think this one's really pretty. I would recommend it. I mean, I don't have the highest expectations, but I think these little sizes are so fun to do and they turn out so pretty despite them being somewhat pixelated that doesn't really bother me much but i do think this one's going to turn out very well here are the colors of drills so we have lots of really pretty blues that i really enjoy um, some yellows and then just kind of neutral colors but i am loving all of these blues that i think are going to be in this canvas and all of these paintings are going to be round drill as well. It is harder to find squares on Tina. Okay, next up, I am so excited. So I have little matching Christmas ones. I have a cat that is a stained glass Christmas themed cat. And then my next canvas is going to be a stained glass Christmas themed cow. So we all know I love my cows. My whole apartment is decorated in cows. And I also love my kitties. So I thought these would be great to do together. Um, so overall, I'm very happy with this one. It is 22 colors and it's a 30 by 30. Now this canvas did not have any like drill field images and it didn't have any reviews. So I was really kind of guessing what I thought it was going to look like. Um, so I wasn't really sure how well it would come out, but really I do think it'll come out pretty good. Um, obviously it's not going to be perfect. And like I said, again, I can kind of put these lines in first if I really want to with a black or a different shade of blue. I'm not sure necessarily how I'm going to do that yet, but I do think this one's going to turn out so cute, especially in combination with the other one I'm about to show you. Um, these were a steal too, but these were under $3 on Timu. But yeah, I just thought since I got these for a gift exchange, now I'm hoping to win them back. Um, I guess I can't guarantee I'll get to do that or not, but I just think they are so cute for the Christmas season. Um, and yes, I absolutely love it. Cannot wait to see how this one turns out. Um, the colors are really pretty too. So this cat is kind of like oranges and reds. Um, and then the hat is like a really bright red color with a pretty black, uh, blue background. So here are the drills, just have them upside down, um, very pretty colors. I just, I can't get over how much I love these blue backgrounds. Um, I think it's just going to be such a good compliment that kind of really gets the whole wintry Christmas theme as well. 
uh, really lots of oranges and neutral colors and some really bright reds as well for the Christmas theme. There's a little tree in the back too and some of these ornaments. I'll go ahead and show you the thumbnail just in case. But, oh my goodness. Y'all, I think this is so stinking cute. All right, I'm excited. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the other one that'll kind of make these two a set. Okay, y'all, like I said, I was so excited for this set. I cannot even get over how cute this cow and cat are gonna look together with the little Christmas theme. Now they're both gonna be kind of like these orangey reddish colors. Um, this one, the cow obviously has more white in the face, but they're both gonna be so complimentary when it comes to the color scheme. And oh my goodness, I just can't even deal with how stinking cute these are gonna be. I don't even get excited for Christmas. Like I'm not a huge Christmas gal, but I just could not resist when I saw these. Uh, this one has 23 colors. Again, it's a 30 by 30. I'll show you the little clip. And again, this one didn't have any reviews, any drill field images. So I was kind of taking a gamble, but I figured with the cow being as big as it was, it wouldn't be a huge deal. Sorry, excuse my cat, she's being a little sassy. Um, but I just think that, you know, obviously these two aren't gonna come out amazing just because they are small 30 by 30s. But I think even despite that, they're still gonna look so stinking cute together. Um, obviously there'll be pixelations, but that's not gonna bother me. I think they're both big enough that it will look decent and you'll be able to kind of tell what's going on. Now this one has little ornaments it looks like and it's wearing a little wreath along with the Christmas hat. You can even see these little horns. Oh, I love a longhorn bull, can't help myself. So love this. Now here is the drills. Um, to me it's so crazy how you have these canvases that literally look the exact same and then they're packaged completely different. Um, here are the drills. They were their own little bag, and I'll, I'll take one out and kind of show you. But lots of those pretty blues again, those neutrals, lots of white, some reds and oranges. Now, I'm not so sure. I think that this hat might not be as bright as the cat hat, but I still think that they're gonna look good together. Yes, these bags are like nothing I've ever seen before for a diamond painting kit. So it's like kind of a little sticker or I don't know if you say sticker, a little sticky end that's holding it down. Kind of like the main bags that these are in. It's literally just like that. Um, so that's different. I mean, I'm kind of indifferent. Some people might not like this. I don't know. People I know really liked when they're separately bagged up in Ziploc bags and they don't even really have to kit up. Um, I kind of like just the standard packaging because then I just cut a little slit on this corner and then dump it into my little my little uh, containers so it'll be different to see how these are like and I'm kind of curious like if this is going to be a new way of packaging but yes overall love these two canvases I'm really hoping hope, hoping I open this present so that I can do these for the Christmas season because I just think they're so cute Next up with our larger canvases, we have this 30 by 40, and it is just a really pretty sunflower with this butterfly. And I don't recall this item having a grid filled either, um, so I wasn't necessarily 100% sure how it was gonna turn out, but I think it's going to be so sneaking cute. Here is the little thumbnail. And I tell you what, I have never in my life been into butterflies like not want to step in something i've been interested in but lately with these diamond paintings i think these butterflies are so stinking cute um i got that cat with the butterfly and ever since then i've just been all about the butterflies so i think this one's gonna turn out so pretty it has 22 colors which i think is pretty standard for a 30 by 30. go ahead and get into it here's our drills see a little strangler um lots of really pretty oranges some darker reds and browns I think this color scheme is so cute for fall and 
oh, I just can't wait to do it. This is probably gonna be one of the canvases I snag myself um, and don't put it in the present because I just think it's gonna turn out so stinking cute. Um, I think these colors are gonna be very complimentary of each other and really kind of go and flow together for the flower and the butterfly. So very excited to see how this turns out. I think it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous and I definitely recommend this canvas. All right, next up I have this 35 by 30 by, which is a very unique size. I don't think I've ever done with this size before. And it is a little fall scene with these really pretty pumpkins, an orange one and a turquoise one. And it's supposed to be like, here's a thumbnail. It's supposed to be that watercolor vibe. So that's why it's kind of very like faded colors, I guess you could say. Um, sorry, my neighbor's so loud. If you can hear him outside talking on the phone, apartment life. But um, this I think is gonna turn out so stinking cute. Has 26 colors, which seems really good for a 35 by 35. Um, and I will say that there was a review of this one completed and it turned out so good. So I'm so excited to do it. Um, I do love fall decorations, like unpopular opinion, I'm way more into decorating for fall than I am Christmas. <laughs> so this is definitely very much up my alley. Um, I think it's gonna be very pretty done. I'm so sorry, again, my neighbor is so obnoxious, I can't even deal. Um, anyways, so here are the drills. Lots of really pretty fall colors. M a bunch of neutrals, oranges, yellows, and again, love my turquoise. This has got to be like my favorite color on the planet. I know I say that all the time, but oh, it's just too perfect. I love my oranges too, and just my fall vibes. Very excited to see how this one turns out. Um, I feel like the drill field right now is not actually going to show how pretty it's going to be. Um, I think that it's actually going to turn out so much better when it has the drills on it. And like I said, the image in the review was stunning. And again, it has 26 colors, which is really good for one for this size. So very excited for this one. And I think it'll definitely be worth your purchase as well. Next up, we have another 35 by 35 canvas, which I think is actually a really good size. Um, it gives you a little bit more than a 30 by 30 but then it's not quite the 30 by 40. I don't know. I think it's a really great size. This one only has 21 colors. So really the pumpkin 35 by 35 having 26 colors seems really good to me. And I will show you the little thumbnail here. So it's just a butterfly with a sunflower. And again, kind of that stained glass appearance. Um, a little bit of a different vibe, but Definitely, I kind of get the stained glass appearance from it as well. Um, I will say I'm kind of disappointed by the drill field in this one. Um, online, it did have the completed drill field in the pictures, but I'm just kind of bummed about how this bottom part looked. Like the top part, I think looks really good. You have the turquoise background and then the flowers, with the really pretty turquoise butterfly. And then you go to the bottom and it's kind of so dark down here. You don't really know what's going on. And I feel like in the thumbnail and in the pictures, it wasn't that dark at the bottom. So I'm kind of curious to see how that's going to turn out. Um, now this one was one where I got some really random like lightning deal on it. So it was only like a dollar and 34 cents for the canvas, which is really good, um, a really good price. So I guess I can't complain that much. I'm just hoping that this bottom section turns out okay and it's not just like a dark blob because I think the rest of the canvas is super pretty. So I'm really hoping this darkness at the bottom doesn't take away from the image, which I, I don't think it would. I, I do like my dark background, so it's not really the end of the world for me. But I was a little surprised when I initially saw that because the front and the top of it looks so stinking pretty. I think the sunflower and the butterfly are going to come out gorgeous. Um, yeah, so we'll see how this one turns out. This is another one I'm probably going to snag for myself. Just because I'm so curious to see what it ends up looking like. Here are 
the drills and our standard packaging. You already know, favorite color right there, easy, hands down. Lots of oranges and yellows. A lot of different shades of blues, which I love that. Sorry, phone died for a second. <laughs> um, lot, lots of different shades of blue, which I am so excited about that. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna turn out okay regardless. I am curious to see though, when the drills are on the bottom, if you'll be able to kind of distinguish things more or if it's just gonna be dark and muddy. We'll see. Um, overall, not bad since I literally spent not even dollar fifty on it, um, but still not exactly what I was expecting. Regardless, I think it'll turn out okay. So yes, I'm happy with this canvas as well. And last up of our Timu canvases is this really pretty cat um, with these very gorgeous flowers around it. Now it's very colorful. Obviously, you know my color scheme by now, turquoise, oranges with a dark background. I think it's gonna come out absolutely stunning. Now this one is a 40 by 45, which again is a very unique size. I feel like normally it's 40 by 50. Um, this is a 40 by 45. Excuse Dallas playing with her little cat toy. <laughs> so many distractions around here. Now this one has 25 colors. And oh my goodness, I think this is my favorite canvas so far. I just think it's gonna come out so stinking pretty. Like, look at that cat. Look at those eyes. Ugh, I can't get over it. I think this one's gonna turn out so pretty. Um, Y'all probably think I'm a crazy cat lady. I swear I'm not. I just think cats can be such pretty animals. Same with cows. Cows are so pretty. You know, you like what you like. And that's the great thing about diamond painting is it doesn't matter what your style is. You're gonna find a canvas out there that you'll like. Um, Cause there's just so many options, but so excited for this one. I'm definitely keeping this one for myself because, oh my goodness, it's so stinking pretty. Only like $5 on Timu, which is a great deal for a 40 by, 50, or 40 by 45. It's a fantastic deal for that size. And I guess that's 25 colors, that's good. Here are our drills. They're nice and baggage and little Ziploc bags for you already. And the kit actually came with extra little spare baggies as well. So very well, um, very high quality kit. Love, love these turquoises, can't get over it. The oranges are so pretty too, some greens, and then of course all these dark colors for the background, which I just feel like a dark background makes everything pop and it helps kind of cover up those gaps too, like compared to like an all white background, I'd much rather be doing an all black background. And that's just my opinion, but oh my goodness, such pretty colors, such a pretty canvas. I am so excited to do this one and I was so excited to order it. I think it's gonna be so cute. Um, obviously not as cute as my cats, which you've seen them, but pretty dang close. All right, everybody. Well, that is a wrap on this Timu diamond painting haul and unboxing. I'm so happy with how all the canvases turned out. Um, they're kind of a different style than what I normally go for with like kind of like the Christmas theme, the fall theme, um, but oh my goodness, they are gorgeous canvases. I'm so excited to complete them. Every single time I order from Timu, it's like I like the canvases so much more each time. So I still have canvases to complete from my first Timu haul because I get new ones and I just want to complete those next. <laughs> so those other ones keep getting pushed back. But y'all, I absolutely love this. Such good bang for your buck with Timu. Um, 10 out of 10 recommend buying from them. Never had any problems. The shipping actually for this came so quick in comparison. Um, I don't even think it was like seven days. Came super fast. Love the end result. And you know, broke college kids, so I can afford it. <laughs> um, but yes, comment below what your favorite canvas was from this diamond painting haul. Um, for me, it's this cat. And then also the, the cow and the cat Christmas theme ones like together as a set. Oh, those are so cute too. Gonna be hard to beat. But yeah, comment below what your favorite canvas is and then kind of like 
what your favorite canvas you like to see are, like your favorite designs you like to see. Um, obviously you've seen a lot of what I like, the flowers, the cows, the cats, really any animals, starting to get into butterflies. Um, but I like to kind of hear what everyone else really likes to do as well. And let me know if there's anything else you would like to see. Um, I have some more videos in the making, so just stay tuned. Thanks again for watching and taking time out of your day to stop by. Um, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.